guys, it's Jude Thunder here and Zood Barley. Oops. So let's go to the box. Okay, so today we're going to look at why MLP reboots are creepy. That's what we're gonna look at. Yeah, right, Zood? Yep. Okay, so uh, let's get started on our reboots. Should we? Yep. Alright. First, we're gonna start with the very first Princess Princess Celestia. Now, you know, some of you, well, some of you may live, may, not all of you who live in Jeezy's country because, because, um, some of you live in, like, the UK, overseas, all that. So, these aren't always in your stores, so maybe you can order them online, but... Be sure to look for one for a reasonable price. Alright, so let's get to the ponies now. And so, here we go. We're going to start with Princess Celestia. And let's get started. We have these two Celestias. One from the Midnight and Canterlot collection. She has both the crown and collar on, as you can see. And the color in her hair is slightly different than the Canterlot one. We have the Canterlot capsule, if you've seen it in videos. Some of the Night Encounters lot said Gigi's father purchased on eBay recently. So, there we go. Okay, first, we're going to do the wings. The wings are a lot bigger and they um, don't have any transparency except the last part of the transparency. And the cutie mark, there's a small cutie mark gap. If you've noticed this guys with the Celestia, she has a painted on collar. Which I don't think Hasbro has released any pony with a painted on collar before, but for some reason they decided to do it this year. So let's do who the horn is slightly longer. It doesn't have any tinsel on it. And we also have a a Canterlot a Canterlot Castle. Let's go over there, over there, right there. So, uh, we have a lot of stuff right there. Okay, kind of bringing it over here. Okay, so let's do it. We have a lot of stuff over there. There's okay, so let's do it over here. Set, there we go. Okay, so get over here. Okay, so, so now what we have is and these G4s, um, Celestia, well, Celestia, this Celestia, her holes aren't painted all the way around, but this one's R, and her hole is over here, which kind of makes it hard for her to sit on the Canterlot Castle throne, which she has her cutie mark on this side instead of this side, so it key back on the same sides because if you notice this with the price I something to have it over here and sometimes they have it right there because for some reason I don't know why and so we uh, go to now look at cadence okay so here's the old style cadence here's the old style cadence and here's this Cadence, which um, a lot of people hate this new cadence for some reason. They think that her head is too big, so that's why this toy got a lot of complaints about the quality. But Hasbro, Hasbro maybe decided to get it started getting old using the same molds from 2010, 2011, every year, 2013, 2014, 2015, 2016. And then lastly, 2017. It's a new year, new ponies. So they decided to make, give the ponies a new and refreshing makeover because um, for some reason they got tired of using the same molds every year. Even though it's still a good either way. So. This cadence has a different head shape, as you can see. Her face is thinner while hers is like. She has chubby cheeks, yeah. <laughs> she kind of does have chubby cheeks, and her she has this in her hair, and 
see her legs in kind of sitting position and has glitter legs like I just lost it over here. Glitter. Glitter. It doesn't catch too well on camera. I don't know if you can see it very well guys, but she does have glitter on her legs. There it is kind of. You can kinda of see it. But some of you guys, if you gotten the friendship, the Princess Palmer parade set, you may have not noticed yeah. You may have not noticed. You may have not noticed. See this. Not people want to have to fix this case of the Gigi has this cadence to compare. And her horn is slightly longer. It's not as long as Celestia's. And this one has a more accurate pink. Which, um, they're, they're kind of improving on the toy quality. Because, um, maybe they got tired of, like I said, of using the same molds and molds after every other year. Because, um, they kind of got tiring using the same bodies for the pony every other year. And someone, well, a lot of people have been... I'm surprised. You know what? I'm wondering... I'm surprised no one has done a video about calling Hasbro about the new MOP. It's going to show up sooner or later. A lot of hate videos are going to show up. Yeah. If you watch the Majestic Bones, you tried to hit this cadence. It's just like, I don't want to say people want to kill these. It's just like, hey, if you want to like throw them out of the street, then why get them? Yeah. Yeah. That's kind of a defect. Don't hit them. Majestic Bones, though. She has a painted on collar, so, so, and her cutie mark, there's her cutie mark, okay, so, there we go, and so now to Lunas, we have these three Princess Luna toys, um, this one came this way, or did Jeezy do that, or did Jeezy's mother do that, I think Mama Jeezy did that, so let's start with this, who did this Luna? These two Lunas. This one has glitter in her hair. Her hair is a little bushy. Sorry about that. It has distance on her hair. And put it down. Okay, there we go. And so she has this tinsel on her hair. To get a better view, we had move the camera. So here are her shoes in case you've noticed. I think Gigi did that, I think. Yeah, she did. So, she also has glitter on her horn, which this one you would think they had done glitter on the horn, but they didn't. So, she they have these different shoes. They have different shoe shades. So that's how it is. And the legs look like hers look standing, and this one's like half standing, half. Of sitting that might be might be why people don't like this kind of sculpt. They could have made Cadence look like this, but it kind of would have been a problem for a cater like Cadence because then people would have said that they had made Cadence too big. That Cadence was way too big because if you've seen Cadence in the show, she isn't as big as Princess Celestia. <laughs> she isn't as big as Princess Celestia, so is this one? She has regular hair and regular wings and the only thing that's different about her is shoes. So let's get on to why people think these are creepy. So let's move it all over. Okay. Okay. So yeah. So I'm gonna just bring the box in. We're gonna open this box. We're gonna open these two boxes. There we go. So, as you can see, Gigi doesn't store the reboots in here. She says so some more in here. She has a lot of G4s in here. So, oops. So, this one's not going to work. Okay, so. Oh, let's throw these guys in there. So. Gigi has indeed a lot of ponies. She has a lot more reboot ponies than just the princesses. 
Now we're gonna compare the main six. So let's get the main six out of here. Let's hope they're in here though. Okay, let's get those out. We have the Rainbow Dash. Regular Rainbow Dash. Yeah, this Twilight we have. Actually two <gasps> same Twilight but the Tempest Shadow set. There's Tempest right there. Right there. So So got the ponies and so there's rarity, rarity, rarity there. Rarity out. Why? If you saw, hey guys, it's Jeezy, and so today we're gonna be discussing why they find the new My Little Pony colors creepy. Many YouTubers, um, Eclipsed Flame, I think I ha I don't know much about Eclipsed Fl Flame, who is a YouTuber. He recently did a video on. Uh, what would make the My Little Pony reboot series better? Because a lot of people hated. Supposedly, when the sculpts first came out on Tayo Bayo and released his fakes on there, I I had no I I, don't, I have no idea how much they cost. They cost it. They cost. I had no idea how much they cost. I have to look on Tayo Bayo and My Little Pony. I've seen stuff up on Tayo Bayo for My Little Pony. So. Um, we're going to explain why, if you've seen my Why Love Loves Our Nightmares video, well, you'd probably explain why, but let's take it a whole new level. People think that the reboot series is creepy and even judge them for appearance like this girl. People might say, ah! for the look, but I wouldn't scream. I would not scream at all. Some people, if you, I've read the comments of videos and they said that they've sometimes cried when seeing them in the stores and wanted to cry. Some people have cried or wanted to cry. It's a, let's go. Why do people hate reboots? The same reason why people hate the world love. It's the toy's appearance, which um, I don't know why they're blaming the toy's appearance. So. I am thinking why they think that the ill reboot ponies are bad and that they look like monsters so it, it could be the head it thing the head thing with cadence because they kind of find that like a glitch or maybe they just wanted her to look that way even though cadence doesn't have a head that big i don't know i'm not hating on the toy like most people do because because this could explain why people just i don't want to say kill because i don't think they want to kill the toys but they kind of do because they hate them so much um so um the reason why could be the heads and they they think they could use less open mouth ponies all right if you like this video please click like and subscribe Bye bye